Fashion file, fashion file, let's do it. I don't know what I'm doing. It's just, I need an intro video. Okay, so here it is. <laughs> Hello friends, Shechen is here and finally we have a new unboxing, actually my very first unboxing from Fashion File. Yes, I know. Now, as you guys know, there has been so many price increase within the past couple months from these luxury houses and also quality issue. Quality control has been such a big thing within the past couple years. Because of these two reasons, I finally bit the bullet and decided to go the pre-love route and find some nice hidden gems. So of course I had to check out Fashion File. If you don't know what Fashion File is, it's pretty much an online secondhand pre-love site where you can buy and sell luxury items. Um, so many people have been using it for many years. I personally have not really checked them out because I was never one to buy used items, you know? Until buying this item here, it literally changed my mind and perspective of secondhand and pre-love items. Now this bag that I'm about to show you, I have purchased it, mm, I wanna say like two months ago. So it's really not a true unboxing, but uh, you know what? I haven't showed you guys, so let's just do it. All right, can you guess what is in here? Maybe not, okay, so <laughs> here she is. This is Miss Alma, yes. So this here is called the Alma in the size PM with the black epi leather with gold hardware and you guys this bag is 25 years old i cannot believe the quality on this bag it it looks so amazing now i have to give credit to the last owner of this because whoever owned this bag did such a great job at preserving it and really taking care of this handbag i'm mind blown again going back to the quality Vintage Louis Vuitton bags, you can definitely tell the quality and the material is just way better. So with those two combined, uh, you cannot even tell this is like a vintage bag. Now, quick fact, this handbag was introduced in 1934. Uh, it was designed by Gaston Louis Vuitton. So Louis Vuitton's son made this handbag. And rumor has it, it was gifted to Coco Chanel, but later she did give permission for Louis Vuitton to release it to the public. So yeah, it is kind of cool to own a bit of history in a bag form. So this bag is made from all leather, which is awesome. It does feature the two handheld straps, so you can carry this in your hands or even in the crookets of your arms. It does have the little hook where you can attach a detachable strap so you can use this as a shoulder bag or even a crossbody. Personally for me, I think crossbody wise, it can be a little bulky, so I must rather use this as a shoulder bag. So this bag does feature the two zipper pull, which is great, so you know, easier opening. And inside, it is pretty much hollow. There is really nothing into it. There is one slip pocket, but that is it. Um, it is made from microfiber lining from what I've read. Usually handbags have a lot of spills or like marks in there. There is literally nothing in here. The handles, there is no cracks. I mean, you probably can see a little bit of wrinkles here and there, but it's not cracks. And I think the handle is the biggest sign that a bag is really loved or really used. Now, if you ask me, this bag can definitely pack a punch. You can definitely fit a lot of things in here, like your card holder, wallet, cell phone, keys, phone charger, sunglasses, water bottle, all your basic essentials. The only thing that can't really fit in here is probably like a laptop because it's probably a little too big, like a 13 inch. But for an everyday use, Girl, this is so good for like a day to night outing for sure. What's also special about this handbag is that this does have the original gold hardware. The newer version only comes in, I believe, silver. And yeah, personally for me, I'm a true black and gold. I love that two combination. So to me, this looks very classic. This handbag is made in France and the little code or the little stamp is on the outside of the bag. For the longest time, I, I wanted like an Inspire Doctor handbag. I know that sounds really silly, but I'll put a picture here. Um, but I could never find one that looks close enough to that. After looking more and more, I finally realized that you know, the Alma handbag looks close enough to what I envisioned. I did go on Louis Vuitton website, I looked it up, and the price point is like at 2400 It's ridiculous right now. <laughs> like it, it's gone up so much that 
I just don't even feel like it's that worth it. I went to Fashion File, Browse. Let me tell you, there's so many Alma bags on there. Like with the Monogram, Dami E. Bean, the Epi Leather. There's so many colors. So there's a lot to choose from for sure. And yeah, when I stumbled across this one here, I was like, this is it. I think I paid, what? like $750, $700, like it's crazy. Now, even though on camera, this bag does look very perfect. Um, there are marks here and there, but the scruff marks aren't as bad. There is one boo-boo and one mistake that Fashion File did not claim to list on their website. There is one stitch popping out here. And to me, I didn't see this on their picture. I didn't see no description of it. So I kind of wish Fashion File did pay more close attention to their items a little bit. Um, it's not a big deal. It's not like the end of the world, but I just, you know, if I did see this, I probably wouldn't have gotten it. Now, after explaining all the details and showing guys the mug shots, sadly, I have to say this handbag is not mine anymore. Um, I decided to gift this bag to my mom because she fell in love with it. Now, my mom does own a similar handbag to the Alma. This here is from Kate Spade, as you can see. Um, similar style, similar design. I mean, they literally look identical. Now, she really does love this because her dream was to always own an Alma bag. However, my mom, she Asian, okay? She frugal, she, she likes to save her coins. She doesn't believe in spending on luxury items, uh, just it's just not her right and that's that's fine some people they don't they don't that's not their passion that's not their hobby but after showing her this handbag she fell in love and i decided you know what just just take it <laughs> so yeah so pretty much this is her handbag now the second reason why this bag is not mine anymore is because i was going to return it because i don't love this size now there's nothing wrong with the size pm i think is such a great universal size for male female you know if you're tall short big small i think everyone can definitely wear this however my vision was a very big bag, you know, in the very beginning. And this to me, even though it looks okay, I wanted something bigger. I didn't know that there was other sizes. I only thought it only came in the, what is it? The BB and the PM. I did know that they did have like the bigger size, like the GM, but I had no idea they had an MM size. So when I did look back on Fashion File, they had one. They had the exact same handbag, black epi leather with gold hardware in the MM size. And I almost did it. I almost bought it. However, I stopped myself. Now that handbag was made exactly the same year as this Alma, but it was a little bit more warped um, and a little bit more bent on the leather. So that was a, that was a red flag for me. And two, I figured why own two of the exact handbags and have it in the same house like it just doesn't make sense right um i figured if i ever want to use this one i can always use it again the only difference is the sizing i think the mm is a little bit bigger between a couple inches it's really not that big now if you ask me do i regret not buying it uh, kind of i kind of wish like i did buy it just to see what it would look like i know i probably would keep it and <laughs> Yeah, no, let's just, let's not do that. So there you have it, guys. That is my first impression slash unboxing from Fashion File and even owning a pre-love item. Uh, you guys, I'm, I'm very impressed. Like, again, you can definitely find a lot of hidden gems on that website. Uh, and, you know, comparing the price point, whatever fits your needs, I think it is a great website to check out. As always, if you are new here, please consider subscribing to me and please give this video a thumbs up because it will help me in the long run. Oh yeah, before I do go, there are going to be three more handbags from Fashion File coming along. So I am very excited to show you guys what I have purchased. I think these three are definitely more different. Like not a lot of people have them. So I, I'm, I'm very excited to show you guys. So yeah, um, but anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye. <laughs>